Ladies and gentlemen, the American Jury and Bulldog Nation and Bulldog Reports, we have posted an article where there has been a scientific study that people who have been inflicted, afflicted with the COVID virus have immunity. It's a scientific study. Sounds good for all of us that got COVID, didn't have much of a problem. And it also supports exactly what Rand Paul has been pushing Fauci on, that why should anybody get a vaccine if you've already got immunity? And since there's a limited number of vaccines and you got places in India that need vaccines, why not, as Rand Paul suggests, everybody get a vaccine who hasn't gotten the COVID yet first? Because people like us don't need it. It's pretty interesting. Next on the old COVID is Facebook. You know, good old Facebook has decided, and I post on Facebook. I like Facebook. I'm glad I have the platform. Thank you very much, Mark. But the bottom line is, is Facebook is now going to allow us to comment about the origination of COVID, maybe being China. Imagine that. I mean, oh, these evil political gangsters, the American Communist 10, that manipulate and from, I mean, it's Soviet Union. Wake up. Wake up. Those of you that need to be woke up, I don't think anybody that watches my show needs to be woken up. And good old Joe Biden, he's saying the intelligence sources are saying COVID relative to China, you know, one of two possibilities. You know, the concession is coming. The concession. And remember, he once stopped looking at China. I mean, this, if we had a independent media and everybody in the American Communist 10 had their independence, this would be a blockbuster, incredible story. Not just what happened, but how the system manipulated it. The gangsters manipulated it. Uh, now, there was a standing ovation, applause. Rand Paul's bill that passed the Senate that basically said no more U.S. funding of gain of function. By the way, I'm a smart guy. I did it for you, folks. I Googled gain of function. So when they talk about gain of function, what it is is the, the Wuhan lab and other labs where the uh, vir vir virology, they study how, whether or not it affects your functioning and how it affects you relative to getting the disease, not getting the disease, does it make you better, worse, so forth and so on. But they use the word gain of function when they're really talking about less function. <laughs> Nothing like academia. You can see them smoking around, sitting around with pipes and going, what are we going to call this? Let's call it gain of function. Yes, yes, that's a wonderful job, Lance. We'll call it gain of function. Unbelievable. Uh, San Jose shooting. You know, terrible tragedy. White guy, of course. Crazy white guy. And isn't it amazing? I mean, I can't believe this. I, I thought of this. That any only time that a person is blamed for a shooting is if it's a cop shooting a black person. Then it's the person's fault. All other shootings, it's the manufacturer, it's the ammo maker, uh, it's uh, racism, it's, you know, mental health. I mean, all the excuses. It's only the fault of the shooter when it happens to be a cop. Let that sink in. A Quinnipiac poll overwhelmingly says they want Trump to run again in 2024. Go Trump. F, the old good old Facebook they are now going to manipulate, you're allowed to hide likes and so forth and so on. I mean, woo! <laughs> I mean, the things that they worry about. They spend all their time with their algorithm engineers on. Why don't they focus on something more important like not censoring us? Juan Williams has exited the five and they came up with this excuse. Oh, he wants to stay behind in Washington, D.C., and we thank him for his service, and he's going to continue to be a political consultant, blah, 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 and we like his thing. You know, Juan Williams gets everything wrong. He's racist as hell. Thank God he's gone. The question I've got, are they going to replace him with another normal person like Waters and Gutfeld, or are we going to have to get some token liberal person in there? My guess, we're going to be stuck with some token liberal. I don't need a token liberal. 
American Psychiatric Association now wants all of their folks to incorporate into their therapy anti-racism. You know, the next thing they're going to do is they're going to, the construction trades are going to say, uh, all you ditch diggers, plumbers, electricians out there, you need to incorporate anti-racism in what you're doing. When you wire that house, you got to make sure that you wire it in a way that you don't use any black wires. Make sure they're all red, green, and yellow, no black wires, because we want to make sure that the wiring of that home is not racist. You know, I'm making fun of this, but I, you watch, that's what will happen. Uh, Trump grand jury. Okay, they convened a grand jury. Now, everybody knows that a grand jury can indict a ham sandwich, as the old expression goes in the law business. But this is a Black Lives Matter, black attorney general, Trump hating woman who's convened this grand jury. And we've heard for four freaking years, oh, somebody might flip, they might flip, they might flip. I'll guarantee you Trump's not going to get indicted. And if he does get indicted, it's a bunch of hogwash. It's just the way that they could. And remember, this woman is running for governor, I think. So it's like, oh, how can I ingratiate myself? Unbelievable. Meanwhile, all the political gangsters that deserve indictment, they don't even get a look, a whiff. They do all the, they're the ones that do all the dastardly deeds, not Trump. Big oil and climate change. Exxon, some big hedge fund climate change lover, has gotten two members of climate change on the board of Exxon. <laughs> you can't make it up, man. Oh, uh, what are we going to do for fuel? I don't know. Uh, graduation speeches. This is graduation uh, season, and some up in Michigan, they basically told some, per, you know, some graduate, you can't say this, can't say You know, wh who cares? Why don't we let valedictorians and salutarians get up there and say whatever the hell they freaking want? Just say what the hell they want. Who cares if it's crazy, goofy, wild, nuts? Who cares? It's graduation. Does anybody give a damn? No. <laughs> I say let it rip. Boy, I, I wasn't smart enough to be this the valedictorian, I would have loved the opportunity to give him the valedictorian address at coming to Latin school. I would have said, I hate this place. I hated it for four years. <laughs> Ohio vaccination lottery. This is just more absurdity. Anybody like me who doesn't want to get vaccinated isn't going to get vaccinated just of some wild chance they can win a lottery. It's so stupid. Does government ever come up with any good ideas when government's controlled by the Democratic Party or the Republican Party? No. Trump solved problems. That's why I liked him. Uh, Booker came to the defense. Senator Booker came to the defense of Tim Scott. Joy Reid on MSNBC, much to her chagrin. What? What? But I'm telling you right now, Booker sees Tim Scott more as a black man, good for him, than just a Republican senator. China is helping Iran and North Korea with missiles and nuclear development. You think that would happen under Trump or make it easy to do? No. All of our enemies are together. I actually had an idea, though. See, China and Russia are kind of together in a way, but traditionally, they have not been friendly. You watch. Down the road, there might be a coalition of us and Russia against China, North Korea, and Iran. I'm being serious. You know, what's that old expression? The enemy of my friend is my enemy, but the friend of my enemy is my friend. I mean, crazy stuff that's going on. Russia might become our ally against China. It'd be a good one to have against them. Uh, big banks are telling, or big banks are being told by 15 uh, governors of states that if you mess with the coal industry, we're yanking your money, our money out of your banks. I like that idea. Give them a taste of their own medicine. Uh, the, ha the Hamas caucus. Isn't that great that they're terming AOC and the rest of her gang as the Hamas caucus? <laughs> I like it. Hamas caucus. Josh Hawley. Josh Hawley has come out and said, hey, we should not let Amazon buy MGM for eight and a half billion dollars. A monopoly should not be allowed to do this. Holly's written a book. It finally got published. He's saying everything that I've been saying. He wrote a whole book about it. You know why I don't read certain books? 
I'm not kidding you. I don't read certain books when I say, I already know and agree with everything this guy's going to say. I don't need to read the book. That's the way I feel about Holly's book, although I wish him luck. The media still can't help talking about Trump. Apparently, 40% of the news stories that mention Joe Biden mention Trump, too. He's in their heads. Uh, big banks, part of the American Communist 10, corporate America, are supportive of Joe Biden's government granting amnesty to all the illegals in the world. They're all together, folks. American Communist 10. MSNBC actually said that the Black Lives Matter riots are fake and were only created by Fox News, Newsmax, and One American News. They said that with a straight face. Their viewers are watching that. I don't know how they do it. Uh, China came out, the good old China has spent lots of money advertising, promoting their causes in U.S. newspapers. Money, money. Remember I reported about how China is lending money to all these countries? Well, China, the almighty dollar. If you don't think the media can be bought, can't be bought, Tri-State News Media, 5, 9, 12, 19 in the Enquirer, 700 WLW, hospitals, own them, own them. Uh, a Brandeis assistant, this isn't Brandeis University in Louisville, it's a Brandeis University down in Tennessee, assistant dean said, all white people are racist. <laughs> I wonder how that makes all the liberal white people feel. You're racist too. 30% uh, of Americans are unsafe feeling when they go out in public. Do you blame them? I tell you what, the only place I feel safe is in independence. I go out of independence, I start worrying about things. Go over to Cincinnati, I got both guns in my pocket ready for action. Uh, hide your Judaism. <laughs> There's some people that say, if you don't want to get beat up, if you're Jew, you don't want to get beat up, take off your, what's it called, a homaker? What's that thing called? You take off your hat, you, take, you, you hide your Judaism. Well, <laughs> what you do? Tell the Asians <laughs> to wear masks. Tell black people to wear white face. <laughs> I mean, come, you believe it? That's what these people are telling people. Come on, Jews, hide your being Jewish. <laughs> Last but not least, there's high school that's out there in Portland. But they're promoting, it's called Friends of Hamas. And they're, they're getting donations from young people. Friends of Hamas. This is where we are as a country. Hell, we're going to hell in a handbasket, man. I don't even know why we try anymore. This is the Bulldog. Every dog has their day. Have a great day.